What's going on, everybody? Swagged out, swagged out, and you already know why I'm here. And today, I'm talking about one more fragrance from a house that I've been diving into lately between samples and full bottles I've been picking up. This is an amazing fragrance, and I hope that um, through this and through other viewers like Marcy, um, you should check out her channel. Her link is always in my description, um, who have way more of this house that I currently have, but I plan to pick up a couple of more because they really are amazing fragrances. Um, the house is Memoirs of a Perfume Collector, and this is the second review I'm doing on this house, and this one right here is called Origins of the Collector. Now, Origins of the Collector is a coffee-centric fragrance, um, and it's built around the scent of Black Espresso, which I am really in love with, especially in this weather, this fragrance is going to bump hard and it's just, it, it's a warming feeling and it has these nice gourmand aspects to it. Um, overall, just an amazing fragrance, but um, I'll spray this right now, right here. Now, like I said about the Zanzibar, um, in the back, there is a little um, image, a portrait in there too dark for me to really make out what it says in there because this is dark juice i'm um, kind of representing that dark or black espresso mm. so um but we will start as typical by looking at the notes so the notes here in the top you're going to get a labanum and the heart you're going to get a uh, black espresso patchouli and caramel and in the base you're going to get vanilla peru balsam amber amberette and musk so if you look at the notes, one of the things you're going to notice is that everything besides the black espresso for the most part, um, and to a certain extent, but truly are notes that help sweeten and lighten this fragrance up because that black espresso is front and center. Now, when it opens up, yes, that labanum does make itself present. It adds some, um, a kind of sweet resinous opening that immediately take you into that black espresso and that's going to be there from the beginning all the way to the end in a great way now this is a black bold dark freshly roasted almost like you can smell the 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 the, the smoke coming up from this um black espresso it fills the entire scent initially and then you start to get a lot of that patchouli and in this patchouli right here um for those who are on the fence of patchouli this is not gonna go into the super earthy side, but it does have an earthiness to it. And it's not gonna go to the ultra chocolatey side, though it does have some of those chocolatey qualities that help it blend well with that caramel. And that caramel, again, it, it goes into that like right out the kitchen, freshly made in the pot, almost um, um, cooked sugar kind of caramel. Very nice. Um, it's, it's These are strong um, notes that are coming off and it, kind of have to be to survive in this ecosystem of this espresso because it is dark and it is bold and it is full and it's made to cut through all cold weather and survive all winter. Um, these sweet aspects are going to exist, but you have to remember that at the heart of it all, it is going to be that black espresso. This is what the fragrance is built around. Once you get really comfortable with that patchouli and that caramel, that base starts to come in, which is the vanilla, that Peru balsam, that amber, that musk. And these are all notes that are going to help keep injecting sweetness into this fragrance and a little bit of freshness with that musk to try to help tone down some of that very strong um, espresso scent that comes off. Now, when I say this, this does not smell like burnt coffee. This is not going to be an off-putting espresso, but you do have to appreciate coffee and that espresso scent if you are going to appreciate this fragrance. I'm by no means saying everybody go pick this up and you have to smell this and this is for you. Unlike Zanzibar, which I think everybody should check out, um, this is more for a certain type of fragrance collector. This is for, um, if you are a gourmand lover, you're probably going to appreciate this. If you are a coffee fragrance lover, you will absolutely appreciate this. This has to go in the coffee fragrance collections. And if you like experiment, experimenting more like in that darker section of fragrance where ouds don't bother you, where those civets don't bother you, although this is nothing like that, but it has that really bold body where 
you are going to get noticed for having one of the stronger fragrances in the room. Whether somebody likes coffee or not, they will notice it. Now, if they don't like coffee, they're going to be off put by it for sure. But this is a very realistic black coffee fragrance with a whole lot of nice sweet additives added to it that make it very palatable. So it's not going to be off putting to someone who likes fragrance. It's just like, if you don't like coffee, you don't like coffee. And what do you do with that? But realistically, this is a really nice fragrance. I had smelled the entire collection. Um, I got all the samples one way or another through friends and through um, purchasing um, several of them. And the reality is that the first two I had to buy, obviously, were Zanzibar and um, the origins of the collector, officially known um, online as London, as London was the place where the perfumer kind of started that journey of appreciating these scents and creating these different memories of fragrance throughout the world. So um, this is an amazing fragrance. It is one of their newest entries into the collection. And just like Zanzibar, I purchased mine from Sealed Essence. Um, it's where I get a lot of the brands that you're not going to find at your big stores. So I understand why um, this brand is not all over the place. They're not all over the stores. But if you do go to Sealed Essence and you look up um, memoirs of a perfume collector, then you will find this fragrance, which is an amazing one. And again, at $185, is kind of a it's a steal really because a lot of fragrances that are putting on equal quality they're, they're just um they're over 200 250 260 and people don't buy the eye so at this price point the quality you're getting the presentation um it's just it's an amazing fragrance i'm really loving this house there's a couple of other ones that i am going to be looking at um I have the samples already, so I know which ones. And as soon as I get those, you will know as well what those smell like. If you caught my live with um, Claudia on Instagram, you kind of know which ones those are already. So once again, the fragrance house is Memoirs of a Perfume Collector. And this is the origins of the collector, a beautiful black espresso coffee scent that you're going to love and it's going to be able to rock all winter long and you know thank me later if you actually pick it up that's all i have for you guys so if you like this content please give it a like if you have any questions at all about this fragrance where to buy it even though i will leave the link in the description feel free to ask questions add comments in the comment section i always reply and um if you're not following please follow because it helps um the channel grow as a whole so now that's all i have for you guys this is fragged out swagged out and i'm out